there are two ways to associate a sound file with a score in Fourscore, depending on what the source of the sound file is. If the source is an MP3 file, then the way I, would, I do it is I put the MP3 file into Dropbox. And then from Fourscore, I click on the suitcase in the upper right, and I go to Services, and that has pulled up my Dropbox because that is what defaults for me. And then I can select the file that I want. And in this case, I'm going to select one of these compare files, but actually I already have it. So I would click on that, and then you can actually click on as many as you want. And this is just to get them into Fourscore. And then you click Done, and that will then download those files from Dropbox into Fourscore. So the next step is in Fourscore, open up the file that you want, and I'm going to use this compare file, and I click on the center top to get the, the metadata, and then in this menu across the middle, right now it says layout, set lists, audio, MIDI, and libraries, I'm going to click on audio. And this is where it differs depending on what your source is. So because my source is an MP3 file, I'm going to click on the little rectangle on the bottom. And that brings up a list of MP3 files that are available in Fourscore. And I can scroll down here and find the compare. And let's say I want to attach the iPlay tenor. And let's say I want to attach the other one as well. So I'm going to click both of those. And then I'm going to click Done in the upper right. Now those two are attached. Then I can simply click tap somewhere on the score. And now you'll see at the bottom of the screen that I have an audio link here. And notice that on the left side there is an arrow because I can choose between the iPlay tenor and just parts two and three are being played. So in that case, I would play the Cantus. And a couple of nice things about the audio in Fourscore. If, for example, you've uh, downloaded something that was, was played, for example, in a 415 recorder instead of a 440 recorder, you can click on this little circle here and adjust the pitch. And you can also adjust the speed. So if the recording is too fast and you need to slow it down to play along with it, you can slow it down. Slowing it down will not change the pitch. It only changes the speed. Changing the pitch does not change the speed. So you can independently adjust all of those things on your for your playback. Okay, now, as I said, there are two ways of doing this. The other one, let me just go into another file here. So I'm going to go to this Dowland file. And on this, the audio that I want to attach to this comes from a CD. And so the way you to handle that is you bring the CD into iTunes on your computer, whether it's a Mac or a PC, and then you synchronize your iPad with your computer in iTunes, and that will copy that CD onto your iPad. Once you've done that, you can then do a similar thing here where I'm going to click on the metadata. And this time, instead of doing the rectangle, I'm going to click on the circle. And that brings in, and actually I've already got, uh, if I go back to albums here, you can see I can select the album I want. In this case, though, I want, um, I want from Albion's Shores. And, and I'll look down through this list here until I find my thoughts are winged with hope. Click on that and click done. And now that audio file is linked to this score. If you're playing along while you're listening, of course you want to hide the, hide the player at the bottom. So simply tap on the center of the page and that will hide it while it's playing. There you go. I hope that was useful.